We are live. What's going on, everybody? We've done this before, um, whether it's on Facebook or I think before the new YouTube restrictions where you need to have a thousand subscribers to use mobile device. Uh, I think we've done this YouTube maybe once or twice, not sure. But long and the short of it is uh, we've been playing New York Lottery scratch off tickets and the first three times it's always been a variation of cash word, crossword game. Um, we play different versions of it, uh, different... Um, monetize different numerations right different valuations we played maybe a two dollar ticket maybe a three dollar ticket now here, here's the best news the first time i think we broke even right the first two times involved a two dollar ticket coming in for two dollars and also a two dollar ticket coming in for ten dollars so with our first two games we turned four dollars spent into twelve dollars and we made a profit of eight dollars uh last time our third time out was our first loss. So we have won on two out of our three tickets. Today, we play three more tickets. We play a loose change, and we play $100 win twice. So this is $5 worth of three different tickets. Um, these tickets given to Squeeze in an Easter basket is how we got these. So these go back a month, month and a half to April. <coughs> these are our New York tickets and they were in an Easter basket. Last time we played, as I mentioned, was the first time we lost. So we are not going to be playing with our usual 1910 penny this time. We're going to bring out a new coin, put that one away for a moment. So what I'd like to ask all of you who are watching, and how many people might that be right now? Eight. Eight. From 11. this binder, 11. Thank you for joining us of newer coins. And when I say newer, I mean 1941 to 1977. You might catch some of the steel ones up here. They look different than the others. But we've got coins in this binder from 1941 all the way out to 1977. And the first person who suggests a year in that time window in comments that will be the coin that we use. So please pick a year from 1941 to 1977. Tom McCormick said upper right coin. Uh, 1943. 1943. Tom McCormick. You say something about upper right? Yeah. There's a 42D in the upper right, and the 43s are all steel. So... What do you think, man? We got a 42 Denver. Someone said 1971. And we've got three 1943s. And thank you for the suggestion of the 71. I'll tell you what, we're going to go upper right corner. We're not going to use one of the steel ones today this time. We're going to go with the upper right corner, which is a 42D. There you have it. You see that? It's really dark. You can't really see it in the light. Can I see it? All right. Hi, Joe Gibson. It's a 42D. Hi, Joe Gibson, and happy birthday, Joe Gibson. Happy birthday, Joe Gibson. All right. Squeeze, what should we play first? We have one $1 ticket and two $2 tickets. The $1 ticket, which will probably be a loser anyway. Loose change comes back a loser quite a bit. It shouldn't come more than any of the rest of them because it should have a... They don't really tell you on the back of these, do they? Some states tell you what the odds are. Joe no Gibson such luck on this thanks. one. You're welcome, buddy. Um, most states have a game either named Loose Change or very similar to Loose Change. It's a standard $1 ticket, and with this game, it goes as follows. You're looking to get three of a kind from those six different prize boxes that you scratch. So you're looking to match something three times. Or actually, no, that's not Loose Change. My bad. Loose change. All of these are different coins. They're either a penny, a nickel, a dime, a quarter, a 50 cent piece. They're different coins that you might find in your wallet or in a crazy binder like this. Scratch off all six coins and you add up the values of the six coins in cents. If you hit one dollar and no longer simply have loose change, you win the prize in the prize box. So you're trying to reach one dollar or more from six different coins. Let's see what we have. Five, 
first one that I scratched is a quarter. And with the exception of the rare 50 cent piece, a quarter in this game, since it's larger than a dime, a nickel, or a penny, a quarter is about as good as you're going to get. We'll scratch the first one here. And it's a nickel. So two coins in, four to go. We've got a value of 30 cents. There's a dime. So with half of the coins scratched, three out of six, we've got 40 cents, which means we're going to need to make 60 cents or more on the back end. So not looking super great so far. Except that's a half dollar. And that takes us from 40 cents to 90 cents with two coins remaining. The only way we can't win pennies. is if the combination of the two coins, like Squeeze said, is two pennies or, five or a nickel and a penny. So one of these can be a penny, but they both can't be. And if one of them, like the next one, is a penny, then the next one after it, the final one, just can't be a penny or a nickel. So let's see what we get. I'll scratch the last one first. And what do you know? Sure enough, that's a penny. So we're at 91 cents, which means a, a nickel or a penny won't win for us. But a dime, a quarter, or a 50 cent piece will. It is another penny. The last two we scratched were the two pennies in the batch. They took us from 90 cents only to 92 cents. And with a value of 92 cents, what we did not win today is $100. $100 not won on the $1 ticket. We have two tickets to go. How's everybody doing out there? How'd everybody Jared enjoy that Jared Hawkins one? said ticket number under 050. Don't know about New York, but in Ohio, 050 and lower usually hit. Okay. This one was a 039-er, mm. just for the record. In case you didn't catch it, a 039-er. Bud Pasquatonio said, hi, Joel, hope you what, win. What's up, Bud? Thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you always interacting and being involved in my social media. Omen um, Raksha said, hi, how are you doing, Stud Muffin? Thank you for the birthday. Raksha336, three, three, what's up, Raksha? Love Raksha. Big mark for Raksha. Um, what was, um, our friend's name in Ohio who said zero five zero and lower in his state is usually Jared how you can Hawkins. sniff out the good ones. Jared Hawkins. Jared, I hope it's not the case. Hopefully it's not the same here in New York because these two consecutive tickets that Squeeze got in her Easter basket, these $2, $100 win tickets with top prizes of $30,000 are number 71 and number 72. So they're kind of from the middle of the roll. Now that's okay, I guess. And what's also okay is that they are two consecutive tickets. They're back to back. So you would think if the odds of hitting on these are something like one in three, well, Actually, on these particular tickets, it says one in 4.46. Hi, Nate. What's up, Nate? Nate Lockhart. Nate Lockhart. What's up, Nate? Tom Johnson. Joel, when are you coming back to Liverpool? Liverpool, UK? Uh, I don't know, maybe. Yeah? Scott Hudson. Big convention in Liverpool these days. If there's the same convention there next year that just finished about a month ago, I would like very much, and I'm in discussions right now, to come back. So hopefully cross your fingers, but hopefully the answer to that, if you're talking about Liverpool in England, is 11 months or so. And if so, I cannot wait. Scott Hudson says, looks like you cashed Vern's check. <laughs> this one right here? What, zero or 92 cents? That's funny. Scott Hudson, I got to catch up with at StarCast, and he is, every time I see him and every time I talk to him, more amazing than the last time. Um, Jared Hawkins says, I hope it doesn't hold true either. Winning is more fun. Branson Werner, hey, Joel Silverstar, my buddy Luke started the ca that company. Shut up. Oh, we got some VIPs watching tonight. Well, I'm glad I just so happened to wear this Silverstar shirt all did not just for this but when i went out and taught before as well i had my black leather blazer and it was over this all day much Tom love Johnson for silver star the yes, I and hope for rich to see a you there in liverpool that'd be great okay that'd let's great. get the next one going you want to play them in numerical order yes. 71 first and then 72 mm -hmm. here's the rules on these this is a match 
Match any of your numbers to either of the winning numbers. Win the prize shown. Reveal a 2x symbol. Win two times the prize shown. Reveal a $100 symbol and win $100 automatically. That's why the game is called $100 win. Because out of all prizes that they pay in this game, those higher than $100, those lower than $100, they overweight disproportionately pay out $100 on this game. The odds of winning 1 in 4.46. If you round that down to 4, if you round it and call it 1 in 4, then realize by us having two different tickets, we have a coin flip 50-50 shot of getting one winner out of the two. Let's start with number 71, completely random. Rodney Valdez says, great job on taking care of your health. And Louis Benson says, hello, my name is Charity. <laughs> Hi, Joe Bruin. Hello, hello. Charity Benson. I, you know, I love Louis. Louis has lost a lot of weight, like 125 pounds, 118 pounds, something like that. And I'll tell you, Louis looks great. Louis looks a lot better than he did in the past, just like I do. I don't think it's uh, a bad thing to say that. But Louis, yet and still, even if I were to see you in a field hockey skirt and blowing bubble gum, I still don't think I would ever think that you look like a charity. But um, but that's okay. Um, Joe Bruin says, well, well, well. Bobby Starr says, well, well, well. Time to win. Joe Bruin, I the wife is hearing this for the first time because I was just told it myself last night. When she was already sleeping. Are you going to the New England Hall of Fame? Yes, that's exactly the thing. I have been offered by a friend of mine to be a fill-in replacement guest. And I have been offered a spot at a vendor's table as a guest at the New England Hall of Fame. But I only found out about this yesterday. So I have to ask the director of my social calendar, who is the one who is nice and gently with her ladylike fingers holding the phone as we speak... And uh, Joe, I'd love to be there, I move heaven and earth, and I'd be there if I can, and I will get an answer to you in the next couple of days. David Lex, hi Joel from Philly, seen, seen at the ECW Arena many of times. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that. Thank you for the love. Uh, so the first number we scratched is a 20. We don't know what our winning numbers yet is, are, but I, I scratched one of our numbers, and it's a 20. Another one of our numbers is a 17. Just scratch them all. Just scratch them all, right? Giovanni Ferrero. Hola, amigo. Hola, Giovanni Ferrero. You know who that is. It's Gio. Hi, Gio. That's Gio, man. In this day Gio and age so where, you can, find, where you can find a wrestler's name on his Wikipedia page, I don't think it's <laughs> any secret, that is Gio, as Sino at MSGO in NYCO. And uh, welcome to the... Louis Benson, listen, a boy needs to make money. Yeah, man. Hey, do your thing. Go busking on the train in your town and whistle crazy by Britney Spears and like just work the pole and whatever. And you'll probably make some cash. Lord knows I've thought about it before. Sean Buckridge said that neck finally healed. Yay. Never. It hasn't healed, thank God. I still, as often as possible, multiple times a month, wear a neck brace. Mm -hmm. and, and I thank goodness for it. I scratched off the winning numbers. So as you'll see, our winning numbers for this game against our 10 numbers that we have, the winning numbers are 13 and 18. As of yet, the numbers that we've scratched are 17 and 20. No matches, no symbols. So eight more chances to win on this ticket. <laughs> Joe Gibson. Oh, crap. Gio is here. Look busy. <laughs> we got a 12. We got a 1. We got a 16. We got a 9. We've got a 28. Confirm for me that there are no matches and no incidents of winning yet on no this matches. ticket. No So we've got three dollar signs left to scratch under, right? Where All are right, numbers? We're scratch those last three numbers. We only have three numbers that are winning numbers? We have two numbers, 13 and 18 we need to match, and we have three chances to do it. Oh. Scott Forbes, what's Joel would you ever 22. come back to wrestling? Five, I'm still in wrestling. Uh, as often as an intelligent promoter would like to book me it and pay me my fair It was just that StarCast. I was at StarCast 2 producing for StarCast events and Fight TV. If anyone would like to book Joel for their independent uh, wrestling opportunities, please uh, email bookthestudmuffin at gmail.com. 
Yes, I also do bar mitzvahs, <laughs> weddings. He does do weddings. Block parties. I've added, as of yesterday, I've added block parties uh, and uh, anything like that. Um, all the way down the chain, every branch on the way down. Once it gets to upholstery, that's I stop. Yeah. Um, it goes to actually to a different rate once you volunteer that upholstery is what you need me for. Um, nothing here. Not surprised. Two dollars. Niente. Ticket, so. Zip. So now we're out three bucks today. Uh, but we're not out it because this was a gift that you got in your Easter basket, right. as we said. So um, one last ticket for two dollars. And these are the odds of winning one in four point four six. We've already played one ticket. So you'd think we have better odds on this Louis one. Louis Benson, assuming my town is big enough for a train. Joe Bruin, awesome. Would be great to see you there. My friend Scott Forbes said nice. Brian Bodie Green, what's in your Netflix queue? Oh, you're the one to ask about that. S everything. Squeeze what's in our F Yeah, everything. We are terrible at watching everything. We watch tons of TV. We don't watch enough TV. Well, that's because we watch too much wrestling. Yeah, we, we watch, watch too many hours of wrestling We watch something week. like 12 hours of wrestling a week. Yeah. And with my job, we only have a certain amount of hours at home. So in our Netflix queue is pretty much everything. Right now, we're in the middle of watching season two of Glow. I know how far behind. God forbid on my YouTube channel, I start a type of program that I'm thinking of starting. And I'm going to be watching even more hours of wrestling. By the way, if you love this content, if you're in here watching right now, our YouTube channel, which has stuff like this and other stuff like cooking, Unbox. Yeah, if you want to see Chef Joel. Yeah. Um, please join us on our YouTube channel. Uh, you might be one of our first 500 subscribers, but only yes. if you subscribe soon because we're already in the 480s. Mm. Go to YouTube and just search Joel Gertner or Joel Gertner channel. Uh, we'll be the ones that are the channel that is named Joel Gertner with approximately 483 subscribers. Not that I track it that closely. <laughs> if you join today and you're gonna have joe that gibson. opportunity in about three minutes to five minutes go ahead joe gibson Joe Gibson said awesome seminars as well thank you dude appreciate that ike bruiser worked at warriors with you nice meeting you one of big Vito's boys at gleason ah love big Vito. love gleason's if we've met then um you're a friend of mine um please feel free to say hey next time you see me in person and uh and yeah yeah. Kevin LaRose, this is great content, a lot of fun. Then go check out the YouTube page. Oh, uh, the YouTube channel's Please great. Please make sure Us to cooking, subscribe. It's like the Honeymooners 2019. I mean, she Joel really lays it in cook, on me. Which is part of the fun. You know, I heard they're thinking about putting a woman on the moon in 2024. I know. I'll beat him to it. <laughs> bang, bang, zoom. Yeah, you All wish. Right, uh, <laughs> the winning numbers on this one are 10 and 30. Ugh. 10 and 30. I don't like those numbers. Now we're going to open up 10 other numbers that can be between 1 and 30. And we're going to hope that we either match a 10, match a 30, get a 2X symbol, or get a $100 symbol. Brandon Mullins, I need to subscribe to your YouTube channel if I haven't already. Yeah. Yeah, Hi, dude. What's up, Meanie? 17 is not a winner. 19 is not a winner. <laughs> Joe Gibson goes, Meanie. 9 is not a winner. It's like a Monster Factory reunion. Yeah. Got Geo, Meanie, Gibson. We got Gibson. Geo, yeah. Brenda, Brenda Mullins, you should give Five us a link a to the YouTube channel. Oh my well, gosh. This is reminding me of my last two trips to Vegas, where <laughs> the gambling was just not what well, I was there for, apparently. Something to say about the YouTube channel. We will put that up on Joel's Facebook page tonight after this is put up. But until you hit 500 or 1,000 subscribers, they don't give you a unique one. So we don't have... A really catchy one we can share with you, but we will give you the long yeah. albatross letter yeah, yeah, numbers. Yeah. It, see, it seems like they've really they've turned a whole bunch of stuff that used to be nothing. Like you, you could go on with zero subscribers, like using your mobile device uh, on YouTube Live, uh, and other stuff. I think that used to kick in at five hundred also now kicks in at a thousand, just like that. Yeah. So uh, essentially, it's really a completely different page once it gets to one thousand. And we're kind of halfway there, and we've worked really hard. I've heard the second 500 come a lot easier than the first 500, so I'm looking forward to that. But please do subscribe, everybody who's here Alex, this, if you can. Alex Ploshansky, how about life coaching? Is that available? <laughs> I need Joel to life coach me. You know, I was a sales consultant for our old boss, Mike, uh, <laughs> a week and a half ago. Uh, so sales consultancy is in the cards. Life coaching? I'd consider it. 
Uh, if I thought that somebody's life so drastically needed improvement that I could be a life coach, because some of the time I myself am a dripping hot mess. But uh, Paul, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, Stratati. Are you returning to Las Vegas next year for the 55th Cauliflower I Alley? Am. I should. Anniversary yeah, I'd like to. That's in the plans. Yeah. Brandon Mullins, I'm already a subscriber. Here, everyone else subscribe to all. He's shared the link to the YouTube. Thank, Thank you, you, man. Brandon. And I, again, sorry, it's not condensed yet. That happens at either 500 or 1,000. I think 1,000. So, um,. But thank you all. <laughs> Brian Bodie Green said, I am 484 now. Thank you. Bobby Starr said, bro, you're drawing better numbers of people paying attention to your live stream than WWE on USA. Thank you, dude. Love, Hope love you me too. Some Have Bob a great Star. night. Thank you, Bobby. Bob Starr is great on camera as, as an in-ring talent. And Bob Starr is great with a camera in his hand. One of my current uh, shots that I use as a publicity shot I think it's the one, if it's not my Facebook profile picture, it's my Twitter profile picture, I'm not sure. But one of my social media pictures uh, was a backdrop shot by Bob Starr. I love that dude. Um, this ticket came in just the same way the other one did. Yeah. And also the way the other, um, the, the, uh, the $1 one did. Crap. So unfortunately, um, the same wait. way we won on our first two tickets and then lost in our last game to go to two out of three, we are now like two out of six, which still is beating the odds. Because yeah. you're only supposed to win on like one out of every four. And we're winning on one out of every three. We've won on two out of six. Also, we're still profitable. Because after our first two games, we had turned $4 into... $12, so we were up $8. When we lost, we lost on a, was it a $2 or a $3 we played last time? I don't remember. Time? I don't remember. If it was a three, three, five, seven, eight. So we're actually right around break even. We've got six tickets. Two of them were winners. Four of them were losers. But because one of the tickets that won was a $10 winner, we have broken even on these tickets. Now here, before we go. Wait. Louis Benson, I need Joel to come sell phones for me, but in rhyme form. <laughs> Bill Lusgart Garten. Bill Lusgarten from Mythica. We who should have the done scratch offs live on Sports Roundup. <laughs> Alex Plashansky said, Oh, and Brittany Brown said subscribed. Nice, nice. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. The first four times we've done this, which was the first three times, and then today being episode number four, the first four times we used <clears throat> New York lottery tickets. Cash word, cash word, cash word, and today what you saw, but all New York lottery. But for our next four episodes, episode five, six, seven, and eight, and Bill Lustgarten, Wander Lustgarten, you're going to love this because we go traveling. You see... In the past few weeks, since Easter, Squeeze has been to... Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Boston. We went to Boston for Mother's Day weekend. No, you're out of focus. Hold on. Do it again. Okay. Yeah. Around the same time, right after Mother's Day, so like a few days later, the next week... I was in Pennsylvania. That's what I'm talking about, Alex Plashansky. I was in Pennsylvania. So Squeeze was in Massachusetts on the weekend. I was in Pennsylvania during the week. Two tickets from each location. Then, this past weekend, while I was in Las Vegas at StarCast 2, no scratch-offs there because they've got tons of gambling, but Squeeze happened to be in New England. Not just Massachusetts. But she went back to New England a few weeks later with a friend. And this past weekend brought back two New Hampshire tickets. And two Maine tickets. Of course Maine. Because she's my main squeeze. So in the next four episodes, instead of them being New York, New York, New York, New York. We're going to be bringing you... Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, New Hampshire, and Maine. And that's eight new scratch-off tickets. So if we had two nice winners out of our first six, just imagine the potential for these next eight tickets. And when I'm talking about potential, realize that there's a $3 one from Maine that can win up to $30,000. And there's a $5 ripe, well overdue Mother's Day ticket. And this Mother's Day ticket, 10 of them statewide in Pennsylvania, 
were printed with a top prize of $50,000. Can you imagine how crazy and generous I might decide to go if I were to ever hit for a prize on camera live for $30,000 or $50,000? Can you imagine what kind of donation I would make to St. Jude, of course, reaching out to all you viewers little by little to try to match that as well. That's the goal of this show, and uh, to give to charity, not Charity Louis Benson, but Charity, not some girl. Nick, cover your ears, We're going to try to do this once a week, maybe, to get through all of our fantastic... And eventually, um, eventually it's going to be... Um, purposed for our YouTube channel because instead of it being on Facebook Live or Instagram or Twitter, eventually we're going to put these, once we get to a 1,000 subscribers with your help, back on YouTube Live from our mobile device. Brandon so Mullen said, you should request people send you their state lottery tickets, maybe in exchange for a signed photo or something. That That's would a be a good idea. idea, but if we win... That's a great idea. And we have an we auction coming to, up. We have a special auction coming up for the next couple of weeks. Stop interrupting me. Yep. But if we win... We would still have to go back to the state to cash them in. Yeah, we could work something out. Something can always be worked out. Thanks, so th everyone. There's the news, folks. We have out-of-state tickets coming up. We have four shows coming up. We have an auction coming up. There's the YouTube channel. Things are coming up great, and uh, we love you guys. See you soon.